My name is Emily Fratson and I'm an artist and ceramicist. Um, originally I'm from Mississippi. I moved to Hull about two years ago. Uh, my husband's originally from this area. I first started studying ceramics about a year ago and I took the course because I'd wanted to do ceramics for a while and I never got the opportunity to take that course at university and um, so I made it one of my goals when I moved here. I'm influenced by a lot of different um, patterns and artifacts, especially from history, and um, I'm mostly interested in sort of the story behind objects and different people and the things that they make. So the piece that I'm working on right now is a vase, and it's hand-built using techniques that date back hundreds of years. So the way that the piece is built is that the clay is rolled into coils and then sort of wound into the form that you want to use or built one on top of the other. And you can build them in different sections and then once they harden to a certain point that they're not going to slump or cave in, you can join them together. So um, you can really make any sort of form or shape um, with this technique and you can make really tiny pieces or pieces that are really large. Um, but once the pieces are hard enough to join together, you can join them with slip, which is like a liquid clay um, with water and vinegar to help bind the particles together. Um, and then you just smooth it over and you can add any surface decoration that you want at that point. So for me, one of the highlights of 2017 is upcoming. I've been asked to help um, install the exhibition for Brian Griffiths at Artlink and I have the opportunity to um, work alongside him and get to know him a bit um, as well as some of the other artists. He's been very generous and uh, invited me to make a puppet for the exhibition so I think it will be really fun. He's asked colleagues and friends of his to make puppets of themselves and I think it will be interesting to go through that process. It's not something that I typically would do, um, but it's, it's nice to imagine how all of these different artists and makers who wouldn't typically make a puppet sort of view themselves. And I think it will be really nice to challenge myself to create something that fits a certain criteria, but still is my own work.